Hey, this is Ryan Lee with Upco Bikes. I'm here in our beautiful facility in Eugene, Oregon, where we've got incredible team members right behind me assembling bikes. We are assembling and we are vending these Upcos here in Oregon, US assembled. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the 2022 Upco Adventure Bike. First and foremost, what is Upco? Well, that's the utility bike company that was founded in 2015 in New Zealand. We came into the States in 2018, and we've been making some huge strides since then. Now, there's a lot of unique things about the bike, but first and foremost, the number one thing I want us to think about is this is a two by two. What does that mean? That means we've got a front hub motor and a rear hub motor. So you have traction 100% of the time, both front and rear. What does that do for our end user? It gives them the ability to climb hills. It keeps them upright. It allows for any mud or muck or any places that they wanna ride, but it's being done consistently with a two by two motor. And it's a hub motor. What's a hub motor? Well, a hub motor is a motor that's actually mounted right into the front and rear wheels. But one thing you're gonna notice on this bike is you're not gonna see any belt or any chain. So the great thing about that is when you're out riding in rugged conditions, you're not gonna have to worry about a chain, potentially having some branch or something come on. You're not gonna have to worry about when you're done riding that you're gonna have to re-grease that chain or take a look at that belt. The hubs remove those. Each motor is a thousand watts running but it can scale, and we'll talk about our boost mode, but it can get up to about 2,500 watts when you're rolling on this bike. The next unique thing I want you to think about and look at is the frame of this bike. It's pretty unique. Now, for those of you that maybe have rolled Trail 90s back in the day or Trail 125s, you're gonna notice a very easy step through. This bike is designed for people that have been riding motorcycles their whole life, or people that have never ridden a motorcycle, period. So they wanna have a very simple way to get onto the bike and step right through it. You don't have to swing your leg. And then when you're on the bike, that seat's about 32 inches. So anybody about 5'2 or taller can still put their feet down and feel that nice balance. Now this frame is designed specifically by us. And this frame is a 7,000 gauge aluminum. So while it looks extremely tough, which it is, it's got great tensile strength, it's also extremely lightweight. Without the battery in the bike, this bike only weighs 101 pounds. So you can actually come to the rear and very easily lift this. So there's a lot of advantages to that. Obviously, if someone did have an issue where they accidentally tipped the bike over, very easy to lift it back up, but it also makes it extremely easy for travel. So if you're gonna put this on a hitch or roll it up on a ramp, we've got a very simple way to do that with a very lightweight bike. And we've also got it designed to be really low center of gravity. So again, as you see that mount into that frame, it's gonna keep the weight of the bike low and it's really gonna allow for a lot better riding and handling. The other really unique thing about this frame, it's got 19 entry points that are mounted on the bike. We sell an adapter pack. We've got a rear rack that you can mount. We've got two pannier frames with dry bags that come with that. We've got a front cargo deck that can mount as well. Bike itself has a carrying capacity of about 331 pounds, including the rider. So it definitely gives some space to bring some other weight with you to allow for you to easily distribute that, but also to give you a really unique opportunity, again, to bring what you want, bring your tools. If you happen to be a hunter and you need to bring some game out, you can do that. If you wanna bring all your fishing gear, if you wanna have your cooler with you, it's really well developed and designed to do just that. And all these are pre-hexed, so we've got a kit just put that screw right in there, make sure that it's nice and secure, and away you go. So again, aluminum frame, 7,000 gauge, extremely lightweight, and it's utilitarian. It's a utility bike. So it's got 19 different points where you can put anything you want on this bike and get out and roll. Another unique thing about our bikes is the fact that all of our batteries have some extreme flexibility. First, they're completely swappable. So we offer a 2.1, which is a 2100 watt hour, which is up to about 50 miles of range. And then we have a 3.1, which is a 3100 watt hour. It's a 50 volt battery, but again, the 2.1 and the 3.1 both fit in this bike. You can easily unplug it, pull it right out of the bike, set it aside. It's not like a lot of typical e-bikes out there where they just have one standard battery. And the moment that that battery is done, 
you're not in a good spot and you don't have a good opportunity to make that swap. So we do have a lot of customers that are gonna be doing some longer rides where they'll actually bring an additional battery with them and just do that swap. They are lithium ion batteries. We use LG technology on that. So a lot like you'd see in the OEM manufacturers for cars and for trucks. It's an IP66 rated battery. What's IP66? Well, that's a weatherproofing. So think about like your iPhone, IP67 or your earbuds that you wear. This is something that's designed to be in the mud and the muck. It's designed to be in that snow, but it's weatherproofed. So again, this is an all terrain, out in the wilderness, out in the wild style bike. And the battery does an extremely good job of protecting you. The other unique thing about this battery that I love is that it just goes into a standard 110 charger. So this is not like a vehicle that you need a specialized charger, like if you bought a Tesla or you've got a Rivian. This is literally a standard 110 plug that goes into any wall mount, or if you're an RVer, you go right to that RV, you're just gonna take that DC power and convert it to AC, plug it into the bike and allow for that charge to happen. Now from a zero to hero experience, let's say you had the 2.1, you ran it all the way down with no power, it's gonna take about four hours to bring it all the way back up to full charge. If you did the same thing with that 3.1, it's gonna bring you all the way up in about six hours. As we move over here to the front of the bike, you're gonna notice that you've got a fork system here. This fork system is designed by Upco. We've got our shocks. The shocks can be fully adjustable. You can work with the rebound. Make sure that you've got that travel adjustment depending on the weight of the rider or what you might have up here in the front. But those are fully easily tunable. Same goes right back here with the rear. Just turn these springs to get a little bit stiffer, a little bit softer. And again, you can adjust the rebound on that as well. Now, as we look down here at these wheels, as I was mentioning, this one right here in the Adventure is a DOT all-terrain tire. So DOT rated, but also has great tread and traction. This is a very rugged, well-developed and created and designed product to ensure that you can pretty much go anywhere that you wanna go. Now with the Adventure bike, this bike is street legal. So in most states, depending on your regulation, because it's under 30 miles per hour, it's gonna be classified as a moped, which would not require you to have a specialized motorcycle license. However, there are states that cap that at 25 miles an hour and you would need to have a motorcycle endorsement to ride the bike. What makes this a street legal bike? So one of the unique things that makes this a DOT rated or street legal version bike is one, we've got our mirrors. Two, we've got our blinkers. Three, we've got our digital dash. The headlight is also rated at DOT, so it's 2100 lumen. It does have the ability to go into um, a high beam mode as well. When the dash is on, it's gonna give you some different insights and feedback about the bike, how many miles per hour you're traveling, where you're at from a power consumption, and where you're at from heat. When the kickstand is down on the adventure, the bike is always gonna be in neutral. You must lift the kickstand to remove the bike from being in neutral and to put it into the run mode to actually make the bike roll. As we lift the seat up on this bike, I wanna point out a really unique feature that comes with the bike. It's the fact that every one of our bikes comes with an emergency kit. Inside this emergency kit that unmounts here, you've got basically all the tools that you would need to make some modifications or changes when you're out riding or potentially if something went wrong on the bike, we've got that built in. We've also got inside here two sets of keys. On the Adventure, we've got one key mount here where you can lock the handlebars if you're gonna leave it. We also have a key mount on the battery where the battery has a deadbolt. So again, we've got a really good security feature there. The other thing that comes inside here with it is a key fob. So what the key fob can do for you is it can allow for you to put the bike in what we call secure mode. So when you remove the key fob, you're gonna hold the button down and the red button down for 10 seconds and you're gonna hear it chirp. Once it chirps, this bike can only be turned on by that key fob. You can come up here and hit the red button all you want, but unless the key fob has powered the bike on, it will not go. So again, for anybody that's wanting to go out and ride somewhere and leave their bike sitting, we've got a great feature in there to ensure that you can keep it secure. You can lock here, you can lock that battery, and of course you can leverage that key fob to allow for it being the only thing that could turn the bike on and off. First question a lot of times we get is, what's the warranty? Well, the warranty on the bike is a one year for the entire bike, and it's a two year on the battery. Our bikes are assembled here in the US, our parts are stocked here in the US, and all of our call centers and team members that are here to support you are also here in the US. So again, with the 2022 Adventure, 
retail price point on this bike with our 2.1 starts at $6,999. If you jump your way up to our 3.1 battery, retail on that is gonna be $7,999. More information about this bike can be found at ubco.com. You would just select adventure to learn a little bit more about the bike. But I gotta be honest with all of you, the only way that I can really ensure that you know what this bike is all about is to ride it. So I'd strongly encourage you to have a demo, make sure that you're going to a dealer that has demos, but this bike is such a unique ride and feel. I can sit here all day long and talk to you about it, but until you get on it and ride it, you're not gonna know what the Upco difference is. And in my opinion, what the Upco difference is, is it can go anywhere, it's very easy to ride, and it's built for anything that you wanna throw at it. Again, my name is Ryan, I'm here at the Upco headquarters. I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you, and I hope everybody makes it a great day.